Hi everyone, and welcome to another video on managing and maintaining your Kyocera Task Alpha MFPs. My name is Sam Hammond, Lead Product Trainer here at Boston Document Systems. In today's video, we're going to be discussing uh, a brief overview of the KX print driver. This is the most recent driver release from Kyocera, uh, and in this video we'll be discussing some of the basics and some more of the advanced features in the KX driver. Now, the KX driver we most commonly see when we go uh, to print our document and we go, you know, file print and then we go to print. We're ready to print, but we need to make a settings change. So we hit printer properties. This pulls up your KX driver. Now, if you're not printing to a Kyocera, uh, this would pull up whatever driver is installed for the given printer. Uh, and you can edit settings for pretty much every printer out there from the printer properties page. But the depth and scope to which you can edit these settings is directly tied to the driver that is installed. So in today's video specifically, we'll be talking about the KX driver. Now on the first tab here, the basic tab, the default tab, uh, from this tab we can do a couple things. The first thing we can do is we can choose our orientation, uh, letter um, portrait, letter landscape, landscape or portrait, etc. We can choose duplex on or off, flip on long edge, flip on short edge. We can also determine our color output. The other thing we can do here, um, and this is probably the, the most important part of the basic tab, is we can edit our print size, our source, media types, and destinations. So our print size is going to determine uh, what document size we are printing. And it will automatically zoom in or out if we are printing to a different document size. Our source, this can be important if we say have letterhead in the multi-purpose tray and we want to pull from that tray specifically. Now, the other thing we can do is if we have say letterhead in the tray, um, I can choose letterhead here in the media type. And in a, in a future video, we're going to be discussing how to edit the paper settings in the multi-purpose tray uh, to correspond to the different types listed under media type. And under destination, you can choose which output tray you want your paper to come onto. Moving on, our layout tab, this is where we can choose uh, such things as booklet features, um, whether we, you know, left edge or right edge binding, and different booklet settings um, from the layout, et cetera, et cetera. Create from application settings versus create from driver settings can be useful when we're discussing, you know, printing booklets from publisher, uh, so on and so forth. The other thing here we can do is we can print out posters, multi-page, multi-sheet posters. We can also enable basic scaling you know, zoom in, zoom out feature sets, um, as well as our full bleed feature set here as well. Our finishing tab, on this tab we can do a whole bunch of things. If your machine has a stapler installed, you can choose to staple and it will give you the four basic options for stapling. Um, you can also differentiate between the number of sheets per group. If your machine has a hole punch unit, you can choose your hole punching uh, settings right here. If your machine has a booklet folding unit, um, we can also do basic folding, trifold and bifold here as well. Um, and that will allow us to fold basically any sort of paper that we have in the machine. Moving on to the imaging tab, uh, we can, from this tab, we can increase the DPI to, of our printed output from 600 to 1200 DPI, standard versus high quality. Uh, we can affect the trapping uh, as well as edit the color reproduction. Each of these different color settings will do different things to the colors. Uh, for example, vivid colors will increase the saturation um, of each color in a printed document. It's encouraged that you play around with these different settings to try to get whatever is closest to the output you're trying to get. Next thing you can do is you can also turn on EcoPrint, which will reduce the amount of toner used, providing a lighter image, but will also cause your toner to last longer. If you pay for your toner, or if you are trying to conserve toner for different environmental reasons, turning on EcoPrint can save quite a bit of toner over the long run. In the publishing tab, here we can print onto covers. We can print front, front and back, um, and we can also choose which tray we want our media for the cover to come out of. We can also insert pages, um, and we can also do index tab dividers here as well. Um, and those we print from the multi-purpose tray. We'll be doing a video in the future on printing on index tab dividers, so look for that, because it is uh, fairly tricky to do and to do right, so we'll, um, we'll make a video on that, and that should hopefully illuminate that as well. 
Now, the last tab that we're going to go over is your job tab. In here, you can choose your job storage, uh, and this is where we can do our private print and our proof and hold and a whole different series of different job storage types where we can collect our job at the MFP at our convenience. So there you have it. That is essentially the 101 level, the overview of the KX driver. Uh, if you're interested in learning more, please reach out to your Kyocera service provider, and they'll be more than happy to walk you through any of the specific feature sets that you have in mind. I want to thank you for joining us today. Once again, my name is Sam Hammond, lead product trainer here at Boston Document Systems. Thank you, and I look forward to seeing you all again. Thank you.